Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. We are back from vacation. So this is going to be a little bit about how I handled my scar after my surgery and had fun in the sun and some of the things that we did while we were away. So sort of a, a little mishmash vlog, things I bought, um, things that I used, things that I loved, things that made a difference. So if you're curious, stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I, um, I really stressed about going away on vacation because I was super worried about the sun exposure on my face, on the scar issue from my Mohs surgery. On, on the, and I, you know, everyone said you're gonna be super careful, you need to really protect your skin and all that, but I am very much an outdoors person. So we went to Bar Harbor, Maine. This is, I believe, our 20th or our 22nd year on this site. I think, um, I think our 20th year on this particular site at this campground, but we've gone to Bar Harbor for about 22, 23 years in a row now. So we love where we are because we're right on the water's edge. I'm going to superimpose some photos so you can see our camp set up. Very small yard, but the ocean, the bay, it's salt water. One side is you can look towards land if, if you're, you know, looking out there. And the other side just goes through a few little islands and open ocean. So really beautiful, beautiful spot for us. So we love to do a lot of outdoor things. Normally, I'd be sitting in the sun. I would be doing all sorts of different things like that. This year, while I did do that, I did not sit in the sun and as the way I would normally do it. You know, I had like the sun behind me. I had big sun hats on. I had all sorts of protective clothing on, etc. When I swam, I swam in a hat. I picked this up. This is so cool. I bought this. Everything I'm going to talk about, I bought. If, if anything was sent to me, I will tell you about it. But I got this hat, and this is probably the third, this is a Wallaroo brand. And this is, I have three visors. And so this is the fourth purchase from the same company. And it's 50, I'm going to say SPF, but it's the clothing version of it. So that you can get sun protection. And I, I wore this hat in the water. Um, you can tighten, you can cinch it, you can cinch it up so that it kind of, you know, stays on your head. But I did. I wore it in the water. Um, I wore it. It, it was just really awesome, and it protected my skin. The sunblock factor was really good. I also have this hat. I know you guys have seen this a lot. I wear this one a lot because this is super comfortable to wear when you're reading because you can put your head you know, on the back of like a chair, a lounge chair, whatever, and you have this on and you have it covering your front and you can still, you know, lean your head back. So I really like that. Um, I just have a ton of hats. Yeah, I do. Some that I like better than others, but most all of my hats, I try really hard to get the SPF factor, to get the sunblock factor in it. You know, because that's what I'm really all about right now is trying to get that protection. So I didn't buy all of these hats this trip, <laughs> but I wore all of these hats this trip. This is the, um, this hat I bought, gosh, my hair's getting to be a mess now from all the hats. This hat, I love, this is the very first one I got. This is a SPF 50. I don't know how many years ago, but it's totally collapsible, foldable, crushable you name it and it just comes back to life so yeah i can wear it down i can wear it up i can wear it whatever whichever way i really want flatter on my head whichever way i really want so anyways the only new hat i bought this trip was the blue one and the wallaroo and the interesting thing let me show you the wallaroo again the interesting thing about wallaroo i have like a couple of visors that i bought over the last two years that I love, and they're all the same, they're very comfortable. But if you go onto their website or even onto Amazon and you wanted to buy this particular hat, which I did just to check and see what colors they had, 
they were like $47 for the hat. And I paid, I think I paid $16 for this in a little store in Ellsworth, Maine, right next to Bar Harbor, called Rennie's. So there's tons of Rennie's around. This is foldable, crushable as well. But there's tons of little Rennie's around in Maine. I've never seen them anywhere else but Maine. And that's where I've gotten my Wallaroo visors and the, the Wallaroo hat. And I love it. And I'm so glad I found it. So I'm not going to. I was going to order a couple more on the website because they had a, a green color. That would be really nice. But at $47, I said, no, I don't need it. So one of the things that I have been doing, um, my plastic surgeon had recommended I get a Scar Away product and it, this 100% silicone gel, this particular one was the one that he had recommended. And I ordered it and you put it on your face, uh, clean skin obviously, and you put it on your face on the spot on your scar twice a day in the morning and the evening. And then you can, after it dries, you can put sunblock on or whatever you really want. But Sheila, my lovely, lovely Sheila, she had recommended this um, bio, Biocorum or whatever, I'm sure I'm not gonna say it right, Biocorium and B-I-O-C-O-R-N-E-A-U-M. It is the same thing, sort of like a silicone, but it has sun protector in it, it has sun factors in it, so that you, you're, it's, it's, and it's, it's approved by FDA or whatever. So it used to be prescription only. It's pricey, but I went ahead and I ordered it. And you just need the tiniest, itty bitty amount. Put it on the tip of your finger, make sure your fingers are clean, make sure your skin is clean, and you just kind of like pat it in along the scar line. And so you get a little bit of extra SPF in it, and it also has the same benefits and more than just the silicone. So while I was away, I used this twice a day on my scar every single day. And then I used, and I don't have it in here, but I used the Super Goop, the, for the one that on my face that I really love. I'm all out of the Super Goop. I have another tube that I had bought, and I have... Um, and, and I know a few of you mentioned the Super Goop dupe, which I had a friend pick up who I don't have at Trader Joe's near me. So I guess Trader Joe's has a product that is identical to Super Goop. But anyways, while I was gone, I had a girlfriend um, go to Trader Joe's near her house and she picked me up two tubes. It's very, very hard to get even in Trader Joe's. Sold out on the website, so I couldn't order it that way. So she picked up two tubes for me, but I'm not going to see her till next weekend. So I won't get them until next Saturday, but I'll compare it to the super group that I've been using and loving. But it is so much cheaper. It's like $8.99 a tube as opposed to $30 something a tube. I think that's how much I paid. So anyways, I, I got that. The other thing that I have been using, and oh my gosh, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll try to come up closer. My scar is pretty intense. It goes from the corner of my eye down to the edge of my nose. Now granted, it runs along what could be a shaded area on my face. And so it's a little bit more hotter to see maybe, but when I have all my makeup off and I'm looking at it, I see it. I'm gonna superimpose a photo here so you can see it without any makeup on. And, um, and then I've been using, and I got this, this was sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network from Friara. I have used um, their neck cream and really loved it. Well, they sent me the concealer. They sent me a few of the concealers. I have light, I'm using the one light. And I don't, I'm not a concealer gal. Um, concealers usually make, you know, my eyes look older. They, you know, they accent my wrinkles. But, sorry, uh, my, battery pack, my battery pack went, so I'm probably not in the same position or the lighting's different as well. But anyways, um, Concealers are not my best friend. I, I do not use concealers in general. I find them to be, uh, they make me look worse than better. But I think I started to say I'm gonna, I'm gonna reevaluate that. So anyways, Fiora sent me four tubes of concealer, uh, different shades. 
and for me to try and uh, and it came with a beautiful brush I haven't used the brush yet I just apply it with my own my fingers I'm going to try it with the brush tomorrow morning but you just use the tiniest tiniest bit of this now I have that covering my scar I have it on my eyes and I don't think this makes my eyes look older at all I don't I don't think this feels dry on me it there's something about this product now they do say that this is designed for the more mature woman so maybe that's it but there is something about this product that I really like a lot and I'm going to continue to use it so anyways I'm going to I'm going to put a photo in with the scar showing and then the scar after I put the concealer on just so you can see the difference between the two and then um, you can you can decide now they're not saying this is something to hide scars but oh my gosh yeah uh, and so I used that while I was away when Jay and I went out and I just didn't because if I if I don't put anything on it but sunblock right and I have no makeup on top of it I felt that people would be staring at me so we went out to dinner one night and I was ordering and I felt the waiter was looking at my face and um, you know so that made me feel a little bit a little bit uncomfortable I also bought and I love that. So that was sent to me complimentary from Fiera via the Octoly Network. I love it. Highly recommend it. Really, really like it a lot. I also bought probably four pairs of sunglasses. I wanted to get really big Jackie O sunglasses. <laughs> and I wanted that so that I could cover and have the glasses come down low on my nose because I still have a problem when I wear glasses the way I'm supposed to wear glasses, like my reading glasses, because it lands right on the very sore, tender area of my scar. So I, I ended up getting like four or five different big Jackie O sunglasses and I loved them. I thought they were really super cool. I also got these. I bought these before I went and I, I can't remember if I mentioned them or not. I actually got two pairs. I got I got these foamies and I got a pair of slip-on sneaks, which I really like. Anyways, the foamies, these these are from Skechers, right? I I don't remember what I paid for them. I bought them at the outlet. They are probably no word of an exaggeration. They are probably the most comfortable flip-flops I have ever owned. I wore them every day up in Bar Harbor. You can see they're well worn. I wore them every day around the campground. I, I wore them walking. I wore them out to dinner at times. I thought they were stinking cute. I really did. I like the, I like the design of them. But more importantly, I felt comfortable in them. Even though they're flip flops, they stayed on my feet. They looked good. I love them. I bought them. So highly recommend that for anyone that's looking if you're looking for any kind of flip-flops or anything of that nature definitely think about the sketches foamies they are so comfortable absolutely so comfortable so what did jay and i do when we were in bar harbor well i did swim a couple of times and i had my big blue hat on whenever i went out in the ocean i had my hat and I had this on, and this is what I wore when I was swimming. It got wet, it got crushed, it got, you know, everything. And I covered, and I had my glasses, and I had sunblock on galore. We also rode our bikes. We rode our bikes into the park twice. We did two, um, a, two technical official rides, if you want to call them that, where we were in the park for hours, and we put some good mileage on. Now, when I say in the park, I'm talking Acadia National Park. It is a national park, and so it does have, um, sorry, it is a national park, and we have e-bikes. So Jay disabled his throttle on his e-bike, which, because they, they have signs posting saying no class two, class three e-bikes allowed, so they were only allowing class one. And that means you don't have a throttle. You can have pedal assist, but you don't have the throttle. So Jay um, disabled his throttle, and um, we went in the park, and we rode our e-bikes. The hills. <laughs> the hills. <laughs> the hills, the gravel. It was the nuts. It was 
so much fun. It was so much fun. One day we went on top of Day Mountain. We had gone to Day Mountain once before when we took a carriage ride up, but this time we rode on our bikes. I never would have made it without having a little bit of a motor to help me. So the e-bikes made a huge, huge difference. They were game changers, really. So we went to the top of uh, the mountain. I'm going to superimpose a couple of different pictures here for you to see. And it was just beautiful. Loved seeing the carriages. Now, of course, you have to obey the rules of the road. If a carriage or a horse comes by, you stop because you don't want to make any noise or startle the horse. So, love just watching the horses come by and the carriages come by. And there were tons of other bikers out there and walkers and hikers. We didn't go on any of the hiking trails. We just stayed on the walking and biking trails. So we did that one day. And one other day we went all the way around. We went into Hull's Cove, all the way around Eagle Lake up to up to uh, Jordan Pond House, had, had popovers for lunch and then pedaled our butts back. Hull's Cove entrance is a very hilly, a long, steep, long, 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 steep hill. And I was super worried about it, especially coming back. I ended up getting off my bike and walking my bike down that part of that hill because I just felt like I was riding my brakes. I, you know, so I did that. But one night we went out for a boat ride, but most of the time we just vegged by the campground. So I think our vacation was a lot of do nothing. A little bit of this maybe, a little bit of that. We did swimming, we did biking, went out to dinner a couple of times, went on a boat ride, hung with friends, ate amazing lobsters and steamers. I had a two and a half pound lobster and we bought like six pounds of steamers. There were five of us eating it, so you can imagine how many steamers I had. But we bought six pounds of steamers. Oh, they were delicious. They were so sweet. We had purged them with ocean water for like a day before we cooked them. So it was really, it was really awesome. But anyways, vacation was super fun. I, um, you know, I mean, had a couple of work things I had to take care of and we have no Wi-Fi up there, which made it all the worse because I was gonna try to do a video and and all that and I didn't because we didn't have any Wi-Fi. So, but back to the, back to the, you know, we're back home, uh, safe and sound. Now we're getting caught up on all sorts of different things that we have to do. I filmed um, this wig review. I filmed another wig review. So this particular one, I know you guys are going, oh, this color is not her, but this particular wig is just beautiful. The fibers are beautiful. This is Avery. This is Henry Magoo's newer. It's a new release, Avery. But my color is, this color is 16, 614 GR. And I think I would love this in a browner shade or a darker shade, but my gosh, I think this is just a really beautiful bob style. I love it. So we did that. Um, what else do I want to share with you? Just, you know, taking care of my skin as much as possible. Used a lot of sunblock. Carried the color science with me and puffed that on whenever I needed to or felt that I should. But, oh my gosh, it was just so relaxing. So relaxing. While I was gone, my brother's birthday came and went. And my father's is coming up and all I could think of the day of my brother's birthday and I was in Bar Harbor it was his first first birthday in heaven and I felt you know comforted that at least he'd be with my dad I at least that's what I imagined so that was kind of sad and kind of sad thinking about that but talked to my mom and you know kept in touch with people at home and and everything was fine while I was gone so yeah but we got a lot of bike riding in, which was super awesome. I brought Sassy. I didn't bring Glenda. I kind of really wish I had brought Glenda, but I don't think I would have brought Glenda into the park as much as I did with the trails were so hilly and gravel. I just felt, I think, Sassy, the fat tire bike, did a little bit better. So I don't have anything new makeup-wise um, yet. I do have some new stuff coming. I bought a couple of Apple Watches. Oh my God, they are gorgeous. I can't wait to get them. I'll show them to you in my next video if they come in this week. They are gorgeous. I hope they're as gorgeous in real life as they were on the internet. So, but that's about it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.